Good morning and welcome to the Karen Project. I am Tali and today Rob, Rebecca, Ben and myself will be reporting live from Karen. Our project is focusing on the environmental barriers that are contributing to lower accessibility to sport and food facilities when walking in Karen. Now over to Rebecca reporting on the problems in According to the Australian Bureau of Statistics 2011, an astonishing 86% of people with permanent residency in Karim either use a car as a driver or as a passenger to get to and from work. These statistics suggest that people within the suburb of Karim are using motor vehicles as access to public transport due to limited walkable access to work as it is additionally restricted. From the walkability website, it was noted that Karim had a walkability score of 72, which is relatively high. However, once further research was conducted, it was noted that there was limited access to basic fresh food and sporting facilities. The closest supermarket being Aldi, which is a supermarket that doesn't have a large variety of known brands and are generally limited on supplies. Access to the nearest fresh food store is in the neighbouring suburb. Additionally, the closest recreation centre is in Chelsea, requiring residents to catch public transport and then walk a fair distance to the nearest sporting facilities. For us as a group to determine if there was a problem in Carrum, we decided to compare the statistics to our hometown of Mornington, located along the Mornington Peninsula. The, Car the Carrum results from the walkability audit in comparison to Mornington demonstrate that Mornington is at 98% walkable compared to Karen, which is 72%. It is stated that Mornington is a walker's paradise, as daily errands do not require a car. Local schools, workplaces and fresh food stores, public transport, parks and recreation services in Mornington are all access accessible. In comparison to Karen, where a car drive to the nearest fresh food store or recreation centre is necessary for daily errands. Likewise, a lack, of, a lack of access to services due to the location of a suburb can contribute to the suburb's health conditions. Statistics show that Mornington's diabetes results is a low 4.1, compared to Karim, which has a score of 4.7, which compared to the Victorian average is 5.3, which isn't high but isn't low either. This indication demonstrates that the lack of access to services from the home may be an issue for Karim. From personal observation, we as a group discuss that Karim is perceived to be a poor setting for community access to resources. We believe Karim is seen as a drive-by town that doesn't have much to offer visitors and particularly residents. After gathering information that Beck spoke about, we conducted a survey and audit within the suburb of Karen to discover why there is such limited access to services such as fresh food and recreational facilities. The survey asked um, aim to ask locals how they feel about access to services in Karen. So questions such as, do you have, have access to physical activity facilities? Where is the closest supermarkets and fresh food stores? And how far are they from your home? Additionally, we also conducted an environmental audit to discover the environmental influences that impact access to services in Karen. So when we went to, out to Karen and did the interview, we decided that we could use the observational audit from the New South Wales Centre for Physical Activity and Health instrument to discover the volume of traffic, street design and location of local destinations such as shops and public transport to discover how walkable Karim is. Now over to Rob. From the survey which was conducted amongst local residents in the town of Karim, it was quite, quite clear that is, there is a very high rate of people who drive down the street to do their shopping rather than walk. Of the six people interviewed, only one of them, only one of them walked down the street to do their shopping. This is due to the fact that it was only a three minute walk. It is very obvious that there is a lack of facilities for physical activity. One person drives 15 minutes to go to the gym as there is, there is not a gym in the town of Karen. Three people believe a gym is needed in the town of Karen of the six people interviewed. Every person that was interviewed did not feel safe while walking at night time and this was majorly due to the, majorly due to the lack of street lighting. It was clear from even looking down the main street that there was a huge lack of, of lighting. On top of this, five of the six participants in the survey admitted the appearance of the aesthetics of the town were poorer than other nearby towns. Though large trees are evident regularly through the town, there is a lack of gardens and attractive natural features. Aside from the footpath running through the main street past the shops, the footpaths are generally in poor conditions. 
Cracks are evident throughout the footpaths and weeds are growing around the edges, which was clearly due to a lack of maintenance. Although Karim has a very small population of only 3,602 people when compared to the neighbouring suburbs, the lack of resources to meet the needs of the popu this population, the currently with no gym, no local sporting club and no multi-sport complex, the necessities of the area are not catered for. With the nearest gym being in Chelsea or Patterson Lakes of about two and a half to three k away, Although reachable for those who live on the outskirts of town or have access to a motor vehicle, these gyms are not accessible for those who are wanting to walk, walk to their gym. One of the young females interviewed drives 15 minutes to her local gym in Karingal, which she infrequently uses due to the fact that she has to drive. Nowadays, with a variety of different gyms and different features and opportunities available to the users, a centralised gym to take away the travel distance by car would certainly increase the participation levels. It was also suggested that some time, something like a morning boot camp utilising the beach would be an ideal for the local tenants. Convenience stores are supposed to be easily accessible as per their name, yet in Karam all shops are located either side of the railway station. This is visually appealing to those who are driving through the town or catching the train, yet the location of the local shops and its convenience are not being considered for the local residents. By creating a precinct with fresh food shops, this will alleviate the need for some residents to drive into town. Instead, they may elect to drive at walk to the closer complex. By maintaining the aesthetic environment, it may help to provide people with a stimulus willing them to walk and access the local shops rather than drive a vehicle. Increased lighting, better quality and thought out footpaths with luscious gardens will make the environment more attractive to walkers. When walking along the main street during the morning or evening there is a certain, certainly a fear factor which can simply be improved by the look of the shop fronts and increasing lighting in popular areas, especially at the shops and train stations. A garden not only makes the environment seem nicer, but also tells the public the council actually care about the segment of the town and that uh, they are able to constantly work in the area. That, ben. All these ideas and suggestions will promote but not necessarily change the current physical activity levels of all residents. Our aim is to outline the factors inhibiting physical activity, especially walking. Ben has just named some of the physical factors which will alter a person's motivation. The ana analysis of these key findings definitely indicates that there would be an increase in physical activity. Thank you for watching the Karen Project. Have a good day.